Rock candy or sugar candy in British English, also called rock sugar, is a type of confection composed of relatively large sugar crystals. This candy is formed by allowing a supersaturated solution of sugar and water to crystallize onto a surface suitable for crystal nucleation, such as a string, stick, or plain granulated sugar. Heating the water before adding the sugar allows more sugar to dissolve thus producing larger crystals. Crystals form after six to seven days. Food coloring may be added to the mixture to produce colored candy. Nomenclature Etymologically, "'sugar candy' derives from late 13th century English, in the meaning, "'crystallized sugar' from Old French kukur candy, "'sugar candy' ultimately from Arabic kandi, from Persian qand, "'cane sugar' probably from Sanskrit kanda, "'piece' of sugar' perhaps from Dravidian compare Tamil kantu, "'candy' Katu, to harden, condense. The sense gradually broadened, especially in the USA, to mean by the late 19th century, any confection having sugar as its basis. In Britain, these are sweets, and candy tends to be restricted to sweets made only from boiled sugar and striped in bright colors. One, the modern American term rock candy. Referring to brittle large natural sugar crystals should not be confused with the British term rock referring to an amorphous and opaque boiled sugar product, initially hard but then chewy at mouth temperature. <inaudible> <inaudible> origins Candied sugar has its origins in Iran. Islamic writers in the first half of the 9th century described the production of candy sugar, where crystals were grown result of cooling supersaturated sugar solutions. In order to accelerate crystallization, confectioners later learned to immerse small twigs in the solution for the crystals to grow on. The sugar solution was colored with cochineal and indigo and scented with ambergris or flower essence. Cuisine. <coughs> Rock candy is often dissolved in tea. It is an important part of the tea culture of East Frisia, where a lump of rock sugar is placed at the bottom of the cup. Rock candy consumed with tea is also the most common and popular way of drinking tea in Iran. In Iran it is called nabat, and the most popular nabat is saffron. In China, it is used to sweeten chrysanthemum tea as well as Cantonese dessert soups and the liquor baiju. In some Chinese provinces, it is used as a part of traditional Chinese medicine. It is a common ingredient in Chinese cooking, and many households have rock candy available to marinate meats and add to stir-fry. Rock candy is also regarded as having medicinal properties and is used to prepare food such as yao shan. In less modern times, rock sugar was a luxury only for the wealthy. Rock candy is a common ingredient in Tamil cuisine, particularly in the Sri Lankan city of Jaffna, in the Friesland province of the Netherlands. Bits of rock candy are baked in the luxury white bread Frisk Sukerbal. In Mexico, it is used during the Day of the Dead to make sugar skulls, often highly decorated. Sugar skulls are given to children so that they will not fear death, they are also offered to the dead. In the U.S., rock candy comes in many colors and flavors, and is slightly hard to find, due to it being considered old-fashioned. Misri Misri Urdu, MSRE Hindi, Misri Bengali, Makari refers to crystallized sugar lumps, and a type of confectionary mineral, which has its origins in India and Persia, also known as rock sugar elsewhere. It is used in India as a type of candy, or used to sweeten milk or tea. In Hinduism, Mishri may be offered to a deity as bhog and distributed as prasad. The god Krishna is said to be fond of makan and misri. In many devotional songs written in Brabhumi in praise of Krishna, the words makan and misri are often used in combination. In northern Karnataka, people serve Mishri along with water to visitors in the summer season. Among Indian Mishri dishes are Mishri Mava, Kalakland, Mishri Peta, which are more commonly eaten in northern western India, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Punjab, Orissa, north coastal of Andhra Pradesh, and many other states and parts of India. 
The Gantawala Halwai of Delhi, who started his career by selling Masari Mava in 1790 is famous for Masari Mawa and sells 40 varieties of sweets made from Masari. Topic beverages Rock and rye is a term used both for alcoholic liqueurs and cocktails using rye whiskey and rock candy, as well as for non-alcoholic beverages made in imitation thereof, such as the rock and rye flavor of soda pop made by Fago. See also Jaggery, an early form of sugar